In the last decades, financial institutions have become very sophisticated in the way they identify, measure, manage, control, and oversee their financial and non-financial risks. All that with a single purpose, which was defending their balance sheet, protecting their balance sheet, and therefore protecting the interest of the shareholders. Now, the emergence of conduct risk significantly changes the paradigm and forces financial institutions to shift to a model, to an operating model, where it's no longer their own balance sheet that needs to be protected, but the balance sheet of their clients, even before the, the interest of the shareholders themselves. Now, originally, financial institutions were not ready for, uh, for this new risk, and therefore the adaptation of firms to the new paradigm has been at the top of the agenda for the executive committees and the board committees. In the last year, significant progress has been made by those financial institutions to get up to speed. However, there are still some aspects that are uh, made further development. What you will find in the conduct risk newsletter is an overarching view of what conduct risk is, and especially of some of the industry events that have helped shape the understanding of conduct risk and the regulatory uh, and business measures to monitor and control it. You will also find what an ideal or aspirational uh, framework for managing conduct risk should look like from an organizational structure perspective, governance perspective, business process perspective, metrics, management information, and technological infrastructure to support that. And you will also find a sum, a detailed analysis on one of the topics which is still hot for the industry, which is how to measure conduct risk on a forward-looking way and being able to anticipate rather than react.